Shana Tova, Tigatevu, Tigatemu. May we all be inscribed for a good year, sealed for a good year, sealed for a sweet year, a year of health and holiness. Good Yantif and welcome to Congregation Eitz Chaim's virtual Rosh Hashanah service. Day number two, we're coming to you from uh, our sanctuary. And uh, I hope everybody is safe and secure wherever you are and that we will join together and have a meaningful spiritual experience. I'm Rabbi Ben Levy. This is Cantor Jack Kusher at the controls. We have Marilyn Sewitz and Ethan Sewitz, and we thank them. We also thank those who have been so generous to sponsor these services this year. We thank the Beckus family, the Bosons, the Blumenstocks, Judy Cohen, the Grants, the Estrins, the Friedmans, mm -hmm. Rabbi Leslie and Cantor Mary. And Cantor Mary will be reading uh, Torah for us, and uh, she'll be blowing shofar for us today. So we're looking forward to that. And we'll have uh, six aliyot, by the way, for uh, today's Torah reading. The Rabinowitz family contributed. The Rychecks uh, have also sponsored Ellen and Ira Roth, the Scholars and the Tuckers, all ensuring that we have uh, a positive start to 5781. On Friday night, I pointed out that uh, Rosh Hashanah, the meaning of Shana, is many. It means year, but it can also mean change. Rosh Hashanah is the, the beginning of our change. And this is the meaning of Teshuva, to change, to transform, to grow. Yesterday, I pointed out there's another meaning to the word Shana, and that is to learn. And we never stop learning. And in order to change, in order to grow, we have to keep learning. And that's one of the great things about getting older, that we can continue to learn. And finally, uh, today, I'll point out that the word Shana can mean to repeat. One of the ways we learn is by repeating. And one of the ways we find meaning in prayer, and of course, we have a multitude of prayers during these high holy days, is to repeat that prayer is something of an art form, as it were. And just as, let's say, uh, there's a musical piece, and in order to make that musical piece meaningful, you have to repeat it often enough to know all of the notes, to know the fingerings if you're playing an instrument and to know the notes uh, while you're singing. And in order to add your heart and soul to it, you have to have those notes down. You can't be thinking about those notes, but you have to know it and you know it by repetition. Same thing with prayer, that we have to know the liturgy. And once we know that liturgy, then we can add our hearts and souls to it. Then we can make it real, then we can make it a real petition to God, then we can make it a real examination of who we are deep inside. And when you repeat it, each time it's different. Each time it's like holding up a diamond to the light and it flashes at you in a different way. And so it is my hope that our prayer experience today will be something that is different, something from which we can learn, something that we will repeat, but will turn out in a way that will surprise us, that will edify us, that will lift us to be inspired to work for the day that we bring redemption to our lives, those around us, and one day to the world. Yesterday, I shared a poem written by our very own uh, Canta Mary Walker Barron. Uh, the Cantor sang, uh, Cantor Kusher sang a song uh, by Reb Nachman of Bratslav, that the world is a narrow bridge, but uh, the ikar, the main idea of life is not to be afraid, don't be held back by those obstacles. And uh, I'd like to share that poem with you again as we embark upon our spiritual journey of this morning. It's called At This Narrow Bridge Again, a poem. Here we are at this narrow bridge, ready to begin our annual crossing. Return to this moment by ancient migratory patterns mapped in stone. For a month we've wondered what to bring, how best to pack and what to wear. Difficult preparations, even though we try to make them every year. I always overpack and now at this pre-crossing liminal moment, I wonder, will I really need a flashlight? If I haven't yet read that issue of Scientific American I bought on impulse last year at the JetBlue terminal of JFK, Maybe I should admit that I'll never read it and leave it behind. I open my pack for a final inventory before stepping onto the bridge. 
Does my Ziploc bag of anger weigh too much? Is my Nalgene bottle of tears absolutely necessary? Did I pack enough hope and forgiveness? What is that stuff bag of patience I meant to take? Is there time to repack before I cross to the other side? Is anyone less prepared than I? Rab Nachman, our tour guide, said that the important thing is not to be afraid. Well, I just heard a scream. No, wait, we, we've heard that sound before, our shrieking, hollow, filled with awe horn, reminding us to watch our steps. This bridge between our sunsets is indeed narrow. Each year we journey together, we become better packers. We learn to travel lightly. The anger was too heavy. Tears once shed are gone forever. Maybe the flashlight is still a good idea. We make these crossings together to steady and prepare for the moment we must cross the bridge alone, comforted by our yearly migrations to sacred moments at this fearless time. Thank you, Canta Mary. We begin our prayer service on page 94, the final two lines of Psalm 150 at the foot of the page. Let us join the cantor. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Bitzil Selei Shama. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Bitzil Selei Trua. Kohan Shama Te Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Kohan Shama Te Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 Betzil Tzelei Shama. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Betzil Tzelei Trua. Kohan Shama Te Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Kohan Shama Te Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We continue on page 165 with Anim Zmirot. Anim Zmirot v'shirim eherog Ki elecha nafshi taharog Nafshi chimda b'tzel yadecha Vada'at kol rasodecha me day dabri beho decha, O meli biel do decha, Yerabna, Sihi alecha, Ki nafshi taharo gelecha. We continue on page 166, in the middle of the page, we pray together. Bless all who enter the sanctuary in search and in need. All who bring to this place the offering of their hearts. May our worship here lead us to fulfill our words and our hopes with acts of kindness, peace, and love. Amen. We ask the congregation to please rise for the Chatzik Kaddish at the foot of page 166. Yit kadal, yit kadash meir haba. Amen. Yomadi v'rachiru tevi amlich malchutei. B'chaye chon v'yom echon, u'chaye chol beit Yisrael. Ba'gala, ba'gala, u'vizman kariv. Vimeru amen, yehish me rabba mevora, liolam amaya, yit parach, yit parach v'yishtabach, v'yit par v'yit romam v'yit nasei, v'yit adar v'yit alev v'yit halal, shem medeku deshab v'yifu liyehila, Min kol berchata veshirata Tush bechata v'nechemata Dahamiran miyama v'imeru amen Oh, 
Baruch Baruch Adonai HaMevorach Le'olam Va'ed Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Yotzer Or Vorei Choshech Chose Shalom Uvorei Et Hakol we continue on page 168. Praise be the Lord our God, ruler of the universe, who makes light and creates darkness, who ordains peace and fashions all things. To you the stars of morning sing, from you their bright radiance must spring. And steadfast in their vigils day and night, the sons of God flooded with fervor, bring your praise. They teach the holy ones to bring into your house the breath of early light. With compassion. with compassion, you give light to the earth and all who dwell there. With goodness, you renew the work of creation continually, day by day. How manifold are your works, O Lord, and wisdom you have made them all. The earth in its fullness is yours. Beyond our praise is the work of your hands. Beyond expression, the wonder of your light. Blessed is, Blessed is the one, one, the maker, maker of light. Of light. Great is your love for us, O Lord our God, and deep is your compassion. Our maker and king, our ancestors, trusted in you. When you taught them the laws of life, be gracious now to us and teach us. Have compassion upon us, O source of mercy, and guide us to know and understand, to learn and teach, observe and uphold with love all the teachings of your Torah. Enlighten us with your teaching, help us to hold fast your mitzvot, and unite our hearts to love and revere your name. Then and shall we never be shamed, for we, we shall put our trust in you, the great, holy, and awesome one. We shall rejoice and be glad in your salvation, for you, O God, are the author of many deliverances. In love you have chosen us and drawn us near to serve you in faithfulness and to proclaim your unity. Blessed are you, O Lord, who have chosen your people Israel in love. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem Kevod, Malchuto Leolam Vahed. May be seated. Let us join the cantor in the chanting of the Vayahafta, the transliteration for which is located on page 536. Vayahafta ha'et Adonai Elohecha v'chol avavcha v'chol nafshecha v'chol miyotecha v'hayu advarim ha'ele asher anochi mitzavcha Hayom alvavecha, v'shinan taham levanecha, v'dibarta habam, v'shivtecha habvetecha, uvlechtecha habaderech, uvshokbecha uvkumecha, uksar taham leyot al yadecha, v'hayu letotafot beinenecha, uktav taham. Al mezuzot betecha uvisharecha lemahan tizkiru vasitem et kol mitzvotai vitem gedoshim lelo echem ani 
Adonai Eloheichem, Asher Otsehichi Etchem, Meretz Mitzrayim, Liot Lachem Lelohim, Ani Adonai Eloheichem. True and enduring, beloved and precious, awesome, good and beautiful is this eternal teaching. This, this teaching, truth, oh, this truth, truth we, we hold, hold to be forever certain. The eternal, the eternal God is our sovereign. The rock of Jacob is our protecting shield. You abide through all generations. Your name is eternal. Your throne stands firm. Your sovereignty and faithfulness are everlasting. Your, your words live and endure, true and, and precious to all eternity. Lord our God, you redeemed us from Egypt. You set us free, free from, from the house of bondage. For this, the people who felt your love sang songs of praise to you. The living, the living God, high and exalted, mighty and awesome. Who humbles the proud and raises the lowly, who frees the captive and redeems the oppressed. You are the answer to all who cry out to you. All praise to God most high, the source of blessing. Like Moses and Israel, we sing to you this song of rejoicing. Chadasha Shibhu Geulem Leshim Echa Al Sifat Ahiyam Yachat Kulam Hodu Vehem Lechu Vyamaru Adonayim Loch Leolam Vahed to Israel, Kuma be Ezra to Israel, who the day he knew me, Yehuda be Israel. Go aleinu Adonai tzvaot shemo Kedosh Yisrael Barakata Adonai Gal we rise with the silent Amida. <clears throat> we turn to page 30. We worship in silent devotion from page 30 through page 39. Thank you. 
in Merle Wilson. We uh, turn back to page 174 for the Chazarat Hashats, the reader's repetition, which will include the Unitana Tokef. We're going to hold our fingers there and flip to the back of our Moxor for the Avot, and then back to 174 for the Givuot. We call upon the cantor, and uh, let us join with him in prayer. Adonai sifatai tiftachu fi agitihilatecha. Adonai, open up my lips, that my mouth may declare your glory. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu velohe avoteinu, velohe moteinu, Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, velohe Yaakov, Elohe Sara, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, velohe Leah, Ha'el ha'gadol ha'gibor v'hanorah 
אל עליון גומר חסדים טובים, וקונה הכל, וזוכר חסדי אבות ואימהות, ומביא גאולה לבני בניהם למען שמו באהבה. זוכרנו לך חיים, מלך חפץ בחיים, וחדבנו בספר החיים, למענך אלוהים חיים. מלך עוזר ומושיע ומגן. ברוך אתה אדוני, מגן אברהם ושרה. אמן. אתה גיבור לעולם אדוני מחיי הכל, אתה רב להושיע, מחלקל חיים בחסד, מחיי כל ברחמים רבים. סומך נופלים ורופא חולים ומתיר אסורים. ומקיים אמונתו לשני עפר, מי כמוך בעל גבורות ומדום מלאך, מלאך ואמית ומחיים עצמיח ישוע, מי כמוך ברחמים, זוכה יצוריו לחיים ברחמים ונאמן אתה להחיות הכל. ברוך אתה אדוני מחיי הכל. אמן. Continue on page 176, in the middle of the page, with Unetana Tovev. Unetana Tovev Kedushat Hayom Ki Hu Nora והיום ובו תנשא מלכותך ויכון בחסד כיסך ותשב עליו באמת. ונתן את הוקף קדושת היום. כי הוא נורא ואיום. Let us proclaim the sacred power of this day. It is awesome and full of dread, for on this day your dominion is exalted, your throne established in steadfast love. There in truth you reign. In truth, you are judge and arbiter, counsel and witness. You write and you seal, you record and recount. You remember deeds long forgotten. You open the book of our days and what is written there proclaims itself. For there is the signature of every human being. <laughs> ומלאכים יחפי זון, וכיל הורדה יוחי זון. ויאמרו, ויאמרו, הנה, הנה יום הדין. לבכות על צבע מרום בדין, כי לא יזכו ואין לך בדין, 
The great shofar has sounded, the still small voice is heard. The angels, gripped by fear and trembling, declare in awe, this is the day of judgment. For even the hosts of heaven are judged, as all who dwell on earth stand arrayed before you. As the shepherd seeks out his flock and makes the sheep pass under his staff, so do you muster and number and consider every soul, setting the bounds of every creature's life and decreeing its destiny. But oh, Shahashana, he got a heaven. For the umsum keeper, the umsum keeper, ye got a heaven. For the umsum keeper, the umsum keeper, ye got a heaven. But I shashana ye got a heaven. For the umsum keeper, ye got a heaven. But I shashana ye got a heaven. For the umsum keeper, ye got a heaven. Come, ye bohun, the come, ye behun. Me ye yeah, me a moot, so me the kitzo, o me love the kitzo. 
But I shall shine, I cut a moon. The unsum keep for the echa moon. Miva eshu, miva mayam, miva chere, miva chaya, miva raa, miva tsama, miva raa, miva makefa, miva chanika, miva slika. But I shall shine, I cut a moon. The unsum keep for the echa moon. But I shall shine, I cut a moon. The unsum keep for the echa moon. Mi anuach, mi yanua, mi yashkid, mi yitoraf, mi yashalev, mi yaser, mi yani, mi yashir, mi yushpal, mi yahum. Berai shashana yikateivun, v'yam tsan kipur yechateivun. Berai shashana yikateivun, v'yam tsan kipur yechateivun. And Rosh Hashanah it is written on Yom Kippur, it is sealed. How many shall pass on? How many shall come to be? Who shall live and who shall die? Who shall see ripe age and who shall not? Who shall perish by fire and who by water, who by sword and who by beast, who by hunger and who by thirst, who by earthquake and who by plague, who by strangling and who by stoning? Who shall be secure and who shall be driven? Who shall be tranquil and who shall be troubled? Who shall be poor and who shall be rich? Who shall be humbled and who exalted? Who teshuva, who tefila, who tzedaka, mavirin, and roa hagazera? But repentance, prayer, prayer and, and charity, charity and temper, temper, judgment, severe decree. This is your glory. You mm -hmm. are slow to anger, ready to forgive. Lord, it is not the death of sinners you seek that they should turn from their ways and live. Until the last day, you wait for them, welcoming them as soon as they turn to you. You have you created, created us and know what, know what we, are. we are. We are, we are but, but, flesh but flesh and blood. Adam, Adam, yesodom e'afar, v'sohufo le'afar, v'nafsho yavilachmo. Mashul, mashul, kacheres anishpar. Kechatzir, yaveshuch tzitz novel. Ketzel over, uchanan kale. Ucheruach, uchruach no shavet. Uchavak poreach. Machachalom ya'uf, diatahu, melech el chai v'kayam. Human being's origin is dust, and dust is his end. Each of us is a shattered urn, grass that must wither, a flower that will fade, a shadow moving on, a cloud passing by, a particle of dust floating on the wind, a dream soon forgotten. But you, you are the sovereign, the king, the everlasting, the everlasting God. God. We rise for the Kedusha. Nekadesh et shimcha ba'olam Keshem shemakdishim oto v'shmei maharom Kakatu v'hal yad neviecha the Karazel Zeveyamad. Kadosh, 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 Adonai Tzivaot, Melokol Haaretz Kivodo, Melokol Haaretz Kivodo Adir Adireinu Adonai Adonainu Mahadir Shimcha 
We continue in the middle of page 181. We stand in awe of all created things, the power within them that gives them form, the ancient law that rules them all, fish of the sea, birds of the air, the quiet stone and the beating wave, all woven from a single loom. We stand in awe awe of all all created things. things. We stand in awe of courage, honor to those who endure, endure. the seeker, seeker, the the giver, giver, the the one who loves, loves. all All who sing and all who weep, the The one one who makes makes his loss a gain, the one one who gives his heart to life. life. Honor to those who endure, and and honor honor to all who who are just. To be just, upright, and faithful, let this and this alone give joy. To reach as high as one may dare and do no hurt and kill no hope, let this and this alone give joy. And when will arrogance end and wickedness cease? And when will tyrants be no more? On that day rejoice, the faithful will rejoice, and all who breathe will be glad, for goodness shall reign forever, justice Justice shall shall be be exalted, exalted. righteousness holds sway. As it is written, the Lord of hosts is exalted by justice. The holy God is sanctified by righteousness. We stand in awe of all created things, all that is holy, of all that we cannot name. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hamelech Hakadosh. Blessed is the power of holiness that leads the world to the rule of goodness. You may be seated. Out of the mystery of time and events has come the call to serve the highest, to hallow this life, this time and place. Now now we remember the call. call. Again, it comes on this day of remembrance as we hear the sound of the shofar, unite in worship, and recall the beginning of all our liberations. When our people walked upright from the land of bondage and turned to the land of promise. As in the heart of the matter of flame flares unseen to bring us warmth, so in the human heart, a spark of goodness glows, a portent of renewal, of life and peace. This day may we grow in self-knowledge, 
this day may we reach out for a full life. Amen. Amen. We give thanks for the mitzvot which we hallow our days and pray for wisdom to guide our lives by Torah. May our redemptive labors make us glad, our struggle for purity not fail, our striving for good bring us joy. Blessed is the vision of holiness that exalts the house of Israel and the day of remembrance. Let's say, let's say, let's say Adonai Eloheinu, the Amcha Yisrael, who to feel a tom, the Avatikabel, who to heal it at son Tamid, who to heal it at son Tamid. Avodat Yisrael Amecha Baruch Atah Adonai Sheotecha Levadcha Veyir Anavod Sheotecha Levadcha Bira Naavod Amen Continue on page 186. We pray together at the top of the page. Many are our blessings on this day of remembrance. We give thanks for life itself, for all that sustains body and mind, for love and friendship, for the delights of the senses, and for the excellence of the Torah, which deepens our life and enriches our days. Oh, let abundant life be the heritage of all Earth's children. Eloheinu velohevoteinu barcheinu babracha hamshulesha takatuva batova. Our God and God of our ancestors, bless us with the trifold benediction of your Torah. May God bless you and keep you. Be this God's will. May the eternal shine his countenance upon you and be gracious unto you. Be this God's will. May the eternal continue to show you favor, and may God grant you peace, and let us say, Amen. Amen. And you got some, let us join with the cantor in Sim Shalom. Sim shalom to vow vracha, chen vacheser vrachamim vrachamim aleinu, fialko Yisrael, fialko Yisrael amecha, parcheinu avinu klanu kechad, vior panecha, ki vior panecha natatalanu, Adonai Eloheinu. Sim shalom tova uvracha, chen vacheser vrachamim vrachamim aleinu. V'yalko Yisrael, v'yalko Yisrael amecha, Torah chayim v'yavad cheser, v'yavad cheser. Kutzaka vracha vrachamim v'chayim v'shalom, sim shalom. Tova uvracha, chen vacheser vrachamim vrachamim aleinu. V'yalko Yisrael, v'yalko Yisrael amecha. V'tov, v'tov, v'yeinecha. L'varech eramcha Yisrael. V'chol et, v'chol shah. B'shlomecha. 
Shabbat Shalom, Tova Uvracha, Chen Vachesed, Vrachamim, Vrachamim, Aleinu, Liyalko Yisrael, Liyalko Yisrael, Amecha. Vesefer Chaim, Vracha Vashalom, Uvarnasa Tova Nizacher, Venikatev Lefanecha, Anachnu v'chol amcha beit Yisrael, l'chaim tovim u'l'shalom, Baruch atah Adonai, Oseh ha-shalom. Amen. Let us now join the cantor in the singing of Oseh Shalom at the foot of page 187. Oh, se shalom bimromav, Uya se shalom aleinu, Ve'al kol Yisrael, Ve'emru, emru, amen. Yase shalom, yase shalom, shalom aleinu v'yalko Yisrael. Yase shalom, yase shalom, shalom aleinu v'yalko Yisrael. Yase shalom, yase shalom, shalom aleinu v'yalko Yisrael. Yase shalom, yase shalom. Shalom Aleinu V'yal Kol Yisrael V'yemeru Amen Shikoch to Cantor Kusher. We continue on page 120 with Avinu Malkedu and Seder Kriyat Tatorah, the order for the reading of the Torah, page 120. We begin at the top of the page with Ein Kamocha. Ein kamocha v'alehim Adonai v'yein kemasecha Malchutecha malchut chol olamim U'memshalcha b'chol dor v'ador Adonai melech, Adonai malach Adonai hayim loch le'olam va'ed Adonai ouz le'amo ha'yitein Adonai Yivarech et Amo Vashalom Al-Harachamim Eitiv Avirzoncha et Sion Tivnech Omot Yerushalayim Tivnech Omot Yerushalayim Ki v'cha levad v'tachnu Melech el ram v'nisah Adon olamim Vayehi ben Saron Vayomer Moshe Kum Adonai v'yafutsu oivecha v'yandusu misanecha mipanecha Ki mitzion teisei Torah Ki mitzion teisei Torah Udvar Adonai Avinu Malkenu Shma Kolenu. Our Father, our King, hear our voice. Avinu Malkenu Chatanu Lifanecha. Our Father, our King, we have sinned against you. Avinu Malkenu Chamol Alenu Vial Ola Lenu Vitapenu. Our Father, our King, have compassion on us and on our children. Avinu Malkenu Kale Deve Rechere Veraav Me Alenu. Our Father, our King, make an end to sickness, war, and famine. Avinu Malkenu Kale Kol Tsar Mastin Me Alenu. Our Father, our King, make an end to all oppression. Avinu Malkenu Kodvenu Besefer Chayim Tovim. Our Father, our King, inscribe us for blessing in the Book of Life. Avinu Malkenu Chadei Shalenu Shana Tova. 
Our Father, our King, let the new year be a good year for us. Our Father, our King, fill our hands with blessing. Avinu Malkenu Cholnenu Vianenu Kiyen Vano Maasim Asei Mano Tzedaka Vachesed Vahoshienu Father, our King, our King gracious, gracious and gracious and answer us, for we have little merit. Be yeah. generous, generous with your most kindness and, and be our help. Avinu Malkenu Shema Cholenu Avinu Malkenu Chatanu Lefanecha Avinu malkeinu chamol aleinu v'yalol aleinu v'tapeinu. Avinu malkeinu kalei deber v'chever av me'aleinu. Avinu malkeinu kalei kosar Umastihin me'aleinu Avinu malkeinu, avinu malkeinu Ka'atveinu v'sefer chayim tovim Avinu malkeinu, chadesh aleinu Chadesh aleinu Shana Tova Avinu Malkeinu Avinu Malkeinu Chadesh Aleinu Shana Tova Avinu Malkeinu Malei Adeinu Mibirchotecha Mibirchotecha Avinu Malkeinu Chonenu v'anenu Avinu malkeinu Chonenu v'anenu Ki ein v'anu ma'asim Haseh imanu Zedaka v'chesed Haseh imanu Zedaka v'chesed V'hoshiyenu Avinu malkeinu Choneinu v'anenu Avinu malkeinu Choneinu v'anenu Yen v'anu ma'asim Haseh imanu Tzedaka v'chesed Haseh imanu Tzedaka v'chesed V'hoshiyenu Adonai, Adonai El Rachum v'chanun Erech ha'chayim V'rachesed te'emet Notzer chesed le'alafim Nasei avon v'chesha v'chatah v'nakei Adonai, Adonai El Rachum v'chanun Erech ha'chayim V'rachesed ve'emet Notzer chesed le'alafim Nosei avon v'pesha v'chatah v'hakei Adonai, Adonai El rachu v'chanun Erech ha'payim V'rachesed v'yemet Notzer chesed le'alafim נושאי אבון ופשע וחטאת ונקה
Beit Yaakov, Lechuvan El Chab, O Adonai, O House of Jacob, come, let us walk by the light of the Lord. Baruch Shenatan Torah, Torah. Baruch Shenatan Torah, Torah. Le'amo Yisrael, Begidusha Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Echad Eloheinu, Gadol Adonainu, Kadosh Nora Shemo, Lecha Adonai Hagedula, Hagedula, you may be seated. <laughs> The Torah reading for the second day of Rosh Hashanah is chapter 22 of the book of Bereshit, the story of the Akedat Yitzchak, the binding of Isaac. It is found on page 124 of your Maxor. And uh, Baal Kore is going to be Santa Mary. And so we're excited to welcome her aboard as uh, our Torah reader for today. And... Uh, for the various holidays, there are technically different modes of chanting. Uh, so there's a special high holy day trope, um, which very few people know. I don't know it, but Canta Mary knows it. And so she's going to share that with us today. And this is, uh, I think, what has become uh, her famous Torah reading uh, here at uh, Eitz Chaim. Uh, the reading is, uh, it's a beautiful reading as she does it. And uh, also, uh, we know it's a meaningful reading. It's, it's full of pathos. Of course, uh, the meaning has been debated uh, over many, many years, uh, exactly what the meaning is. Uh, we know, of course, it begins with, after these things, Abraham, that God tested Abraham. And we mentioned before that Abraham undergoes 10 tests. After each one, he, he grows to be the spiritual giant that he's meant to be, whether he passes that test or not. And we can debate as to whether he passes this test or not. Some people will say that, uh, yes, he comes through with undying faith, that he knows God has promised him that the Jewish people will be as numerous as the sands of the sea, as numerous as the stars. He's going to be a great nation. He's going to be a blessing to humanity. He doesn't know how this is going to happen, but he has trust in God. When God tells him to take his son up to the mountain, he has trust that it's going to work out somehow, even though he doesn't understand. And perhaps this points to the miraculous survival of the Jewish people after all these years. Some people say if you want to prove the existence for God, all you have to do is look at the Jewish people's survival. Against all the rules of sociology, against all the science that we know, we are still here. Perhaps the most persecuted people on earth, but yet we're growing stronger. And we are still dedicated to our Torah. We're still dedicated to goodness. We are still actors in the great drama of God's redemption. There have been many other nations that have dominated us, some that have sought to wipe us out. The Egyptians, the Greeks, the Romans, the Assyrians. But if you want to see Egyptians today, where do you go? You got to go to the museum. Because that's where the Egyptians are. The people living in Egypt now are, are not Egyptians. They're Arabs who have conquered the land back in uh, the 7th century. There is no more Egypt. You want to go to see Egyptian culture, to learn of Egyptian religion, to see Egyptian art, you got to go to the Metropolitan Museum on 81st Street. Because there is no more Egypt. They're dust. While the Jewish people... 
We never based ourselves upon military might. We never based ourselves on control of others or even control of territory necessarily, but we base ourselves on an idea that individuals can be better than they are today, tomorrow, that each of us can improve, and that justice and righteousness can flow like a, a mighty river and lift all of us to a higher plane of holiness, that life is not a zero-sum game, but when we share spirituality, when we share Torah, when we share love with others, that all of us gain. Maybe this is one of the meanings of today's particular reading, that there are some things that uh, are very difficult to figure out, but yet we have to rely on God's promise that things will work out. On the other hand, there are many questions <laughs> concerning this reading. Does Abraham misunderstand what God wants? That's what Rashi says. God says, bring him up, never says to slaughter him. Mm -hmm. And the ultimate question for me, and the one I want to focus on this year after the reading is, uh, what about Isaac? We focus basically on Abraham. You know, this is part of his spiritual education. He's supposed to gain from this. He has 10 trials. Some people will argue that this is the final trial. It's the Shalom Spiegel, the great scholar. Yeah, maybe Abraham learns from this experience, but what about poor Isaac, who's tied down on the altar and has his father flash a knife, uh, you know, across his naked throat? What is he supposed to gain from this? Is he just a, a prop here? Is he a pawn in the spiritual game of his famous father? Or is there something we're supposed to learn by his sustenance and his courage? We read, of course, that they go up to the mountain together, but when Abraham come down, comes down from the mountain, it says he returns to his servants in the singular. We're not told what happens to Yitzchak, where does he go, what happens to him. What are the residual effects of this experience for him? Was it only a test for Abraham? Or is Yitzchak somehow supposed to grow? Are we supposed to grow by learning this story of great pathos, of fathers and sons? Finally, perhaps one of the meanings is, is that we learn to appreciate what we risk losing. We learn to appreciate the value of children when we come to an experience like the Akedah. The reading is chapter 22 of the book of Genesis, verse 1, page 124 of your Moxor, and we're going to call upon uh, Cantor Mary to lead us in this reading. So uh, if you're out there, Cantor. Okay. I'm Excellent. right here. Uh, she's right here. Okay, good. So, Mr. Koak, thank you for taking on this responsibility, and uh, we're going to start calling our Aliyot. Yam do Rishon Yehuda ben Yitzchak vi Yosefa ve Esther Batz vi Verut Jerry and Ellen Yokelson. Arfu et Adonai Hamavarad Baruch Adonai Hamavarach Leolam Vaed Baruch Adonai Hamavarach Leolam Vaed Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher bochar banu mikol hamim, natan lanu et torato, baruch atadonai noten hatorah. Amen. Rabbi, before I get started, how many aliyot are we doing? Six. Okay. 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 I Six. Will, okay. Six. I, okay. I will repeat the first verse, the, the first verse twice. Okay, great. Amen Vayehi Achar Hadvarim Haele Veha Elohim Nisa et Abraham Vayomer I love Abraham Vayomer Hineni Vayomer Kachna 
et bin ha et yid ha, asher ahavta et yitzhak, velek lecha el eret hamoriyah, alehu sham le'olah, al echad harim asher omar alecha. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech olam Asher natan lanu Torah emet Ahaye olam notah betokhenu Baruch atah Adonai noten ha-Torah Amen And anything worthwhile bears repeating, so I will repeat the first Aliyah again. Tam Dushnia Harav Leabat Ovadia Vechava Vechazan Shlomit Miriam Bat Avraham Vesara Rabbi Leslie Bergson and Cantor Mary Barron. Okay. Barfuet Adonai Hamvorach Baruch Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Leolam Vaed. Baruch Adonai Hambarach Leolam Ba'ed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Asher Bachar Banu Mikol HaAmim. Venatam Lanu Et Torato. Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah. Amen. Amen. Ayehi, achar hadvarim ha'ele, veha Elohim nisa et Abraham, vayomer elav Abraham, vayomer hineni, vayomer kachna. Et ben ha et yihid ha, asher ahavta et yitzchak, velech lecha el eretz hamoriyah, vahaalehu sham le'olah, al ahad heharim, asher omar alecha. Vayashkem Avraham, babo, vayashkem, Vayachavosh et hamoro, vayikak et shene na'arav ito, ve'et yitzchak b'no, vabaka at se'ola, vayakam vayelet el hamakom, asher amar lo ha'elohim. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Natan Lanu Torah Emet, Bechaye Olam Nata Betoheinu, Baruch Ata Adonai, Noten HaTorah. Amen. Yam dush li shi Yehudit Masha Bat Yeshaya Umalka Rivka Um Moshe Avram Ben Yitzchak Verezel Jody and Marty Grant. Baruch Hu et Adonai Ham Barak Baruch Adonai Barak Le Olam Vaed Baruch Adonai Ham Barak Le Olam Vaed Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher bakarbanu mikol ha'amim, v'anatam lanu et torato, baruch atad anai, noten ha'torah. Amen. Amen, bayom ha'shlishi, v'yisa avraham, Et enav, vayar et hamakom merachok, vayomer Avraham el na'arav, 
שבו לכם פול עם החמור, ואני והנער נלכה עד כה, ונשתחווה ונשובה עליכם. ויקח אברהם את עצי העולם, וישם על יצחק בנו, ויקח בידו את האש ואת המאכלת, וילכו שניהם יחדיו. ברוך הוא את אדוני המבורך, ברוך את אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת, וחיי עולם נתן בתוכנו, ברוך את אדוני, נותן התורה. אמן. יעמוד רביעי. Chaim Raphael ben Zizel the Yehudis, Sam Rabinowitz. Baruch Hu et Adonai Hambarach. Baruch. Baruch Adonai Hambarach Le'olam Va'ed. Baruch Adonai Hambarach Le'olam Va'ed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam. Asher Bachabana Mikal Hamim. Benatan Lanu et Torato. Baruch Ata Adonai Notin HaTorah. Amen. Amen. Vayomer Yitzchak el Avraham avi, Vayomer avi, Vayomer hineni v'ni, Vayomer hine ha'esh v'ha'etzim, Va'ayi ha'sel le'olah. Vayomer Avraham Elohim, Yer Eloh Haser, Leola Beni, Vayelchu Shnehem Yachdav, Vayavohu El Hamakom, Asher Amar Lo HaElohim, Vayivin sham Avraham et hamizbeach, Vayarok et ha'etzim, Vayakod et Yitzchak beno, Vayasem oto al hamizbeach, Mima'al la'etzim, Vayishlak Avraham et yado, Vayikak et hama'achelet, לשחוט את בנו. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך עולם אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת וחיי עולם נוטע בתוקנו ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה. אמן. תעמוד חמישית Sarah Leah Bat Avraham Vitimora, Judy Cohen. Arku Ed Adonoi Hamfara. Aruch Adonam Varachli Lamba Ed. Aruch Adonoi Hamfarachli Lamba Ed. Aruch Adonoi Eloheinu Melacholam. Asher Bakabanu Mikol Hami. Inatan Lanu Ed Torato. Baruch ato Adonai, Noten HaTorah. Amen. Amen. Vayikra Elav Malach Adonai Min HaShamayim Vayomer Avraham Avraham Vayomer Hineni Vayomer Al tishlach yadcha el hana'ar, Va'al ta'as lo mi'umah, Ki ata yadati, Ki yirei Elohim ata, Ve'lo chasakta, 
Het ben gaat je hier de gaan met me niet. Waar je zou Abraham het een naam. Waar jaar waarheen je aan Achar, ne echas bas wak bekar nam. Va ye lek Abraham, va ye kaak et ha ayil, va ye alehu le ola tachat beno. Aruf tor benoi, Eloheinu melech alam, asher natan lano tor et emet lechaye olam. Lynn and Sean Singer. Baruch Adonam Baruch Leolam Vaed. Baruch Adonai Hamarach Leolam Vaed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Asher Bacharbanu Mikol Ha'amin. Benatamanu Et Torato. Baruch Ata Adonai Notein HaTorah. Amen. 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 Vayikra Abraham. Shem hamakom hahu Adonai yerae. Asher ye amer hayom. Bahar Adonai yerae. Vayikra malach Adonai el Abraham. Shainit men hashamayin vayomer binishbatin um Adonai ki yaan asher asita et hadavar hazeh velo chasaka et bencha et yehidecha ki varek avarechcha. Veharba veharbe arba et shaachar kahok ve hashamayim vechachol asher al sefat hayam vayirash zaracha et shaar oivav vehit barachu vezaracha kol goye haaret. Ekev asher shamata bekoli vaya shav Abraham el naarav vaya kumu vayelchu yakta bel beer shava vaya shav Abraham beer shava. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher natan lanu torat emet, v'haye olam nata batochinu, Baruch Atah Adonai, noten haTorah. Amen. Shikoach the Cantor Mary, and another beautiful reading, as well as all of our aliyot. May God grant you all more strength to do more mitzvot like you've done. We now turn to page 152 for some prayers for our nation and our brothers and sisters in the land of Israel, our now congregation. Lord, we pray to you for the whole house of Israel scattered over the earth, yet bound together by a common history and united by a common heritage of faith and hope. Be with our brothers and sisters whose lives are made hard because they are Jews. Give them strength to endure and lead them soon from bondage to freedom, from darkness to light. Lest this holy congregation and all who serve it, together with all other holy congregations in all lands near and far, uphold us, shield us, and bestow upon us abundant life and health and peace and happiness. Bring to fulfillment the blessing of Moses. The Lord your God make you a thousand times as many as you are and bless you as he has promised you. Amen. Amen. O oh God, send your healing to the sick, your comfort to all who are in pain or anxiety, your tender love to the sorrowing hearts among us, 
be their refuge through their time of trial and as they pass from weakness to strength, from suffering to consolation, from lonely fear to the courage of faith. Amen. Amen. We pray for all those who hold positions of leadership and responsibility in our national life. Let your blessing rest upon them and make them responsive to your will so that our nation may be to the world an example of justice and compassion. Deepen our love for our country and our desire to serve it. Strengthen our power of self-sacrifice for our nation's welfare. Teach us to uphold its good name and by our own right conduct. Cause us to see clearly that the well-being of our nation is in the hands of all its citizens. Imbue us with zeal for the cause of liberty in our own land and in all lands. And help us always to keep our homes safe from affliction, strife, and war. Amen. Amen. We pray for the state of Israel and its people. May its borders know peace, its inhabitants tranquility. And may the bonds of faith and fate which unite all Jews of all lands be a source of strength to Israel and to all us. God of all lands and ages, answer our constant prayer with a Zion once more aglow with light for us and for all the world. And let us say, Amen. Amen. So at this point, we have a special presentation from the Martinez family. Let us join them in the singing of Mishaberach. A prayer for those in need of healing. to the Martinez family, and uh, we really appreciate every note. Always a highlight. Mm. We now turn to our Haftarah. The Haftarah for the second day of Rosh Hashanah comes from Jeremiah chapter 31. And although Jeremiah has uh, a reputation as being the, uh, the prophet of doom and gloom, uh, <laughs> yet there are times when Jeremiah actually speaks of renewal and provides another definition of Teshuvah for us here. Usually when we think of teshuva, we think uh, on personal terms, that we want to return to a closer relationship with God, a closer relationship with other human beings, a closer relationship to that ideal, our higher selves, that we have still yet to accomplish. But teshuva can also mean a homecoming. And on national terms, it speaks of exile and return. And here, Jeremiah encourages us to let us know that no matter how many times we are exiled from our land, that we will return. And especially in the end of days, that the crying of Rachel as her children are marched away will be indeed salved by the teshuva of the children of Israel. We begin with a blessing on page 199 and then the text itself on page 201. Praise be the Lord our God, ruler of the universe, who has chosen faithful prophets to speak words of truth. Blessed is the Lord for the revelation of Torah, for Moses, his servant, and Israel, his people, and for the prophets of truth and righteousness. The people escaped from the sword, found favor in the wilderness. And when Israel was marching homeward, the Lord appeared to them. Thus says the eternal, Lord, love I conceived you for then, 
Therefore, I continue my grace to you. I will build you up again, O innocent daughter of Israel. I will build you up. Again, you shall take up your timbrels and go forth to the rhythm of the dancers. Again, you shall plant vineyards in the hills of Samaria. You shall plant and live and enjoy them. For the day is coming when watchers shall proclaim on the heights of Ephraim, Come, let us go up to Zion, to the Lord our God. For thus says the Lord, cry out in joy for Jacob. Lead the nations crying loud and clear. Sing aloud in praise and say, the Lord has saved his people, the remnant of Israel. I will bring them in from the north, gather them from the ends of the earth, the blind and the lame among them, those with child and those in labor of vast throng. They shall come with weeping and I shall lead them. I will comfort them. I will lead them to flowing streams by a level road where they shall not stumble. For I am ever the lover of Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations, and tell it to the isles far off. The one who scattered Israel will gather them and watch over them as a shepherd, the flock. For the Lord has delivered Jacob and redeemed them from the hand of the mighty. Radiant over the bounty of the Lord, the grain, the wine, the oil, the sheep, and the cattle, they shall come with shouts of joy to Zion's heights. They shall become like a watered garden and never again to languish. Then girls shall dance with joy, young and old shall exult. I will turn their mourning into gladness. I will comfort and hearten them in their grief. Thus says the Lord, a voice is heard in Ramah. Lamentation and bitter weeping, Rachel is weeping for her children, refusing to be comforted for her children, for they are gone. Thus says the Lord, restrain your voice from weeping and your eyes from tears, for your labor shall have its reward. They shall return from the enemy's land. There is hope for your future. Your children shall return to their own land. I can hear Ephraim lamenting. You have chastised me. I am chastised like a calf that has not been broken. Receive me back. Let me return. For you, O Lord, are my God. Now I have turned my back. I am filled with remorse. Now that I am made aware, I beat my breast in shame and contrition, for I bear the disgrace of my mouth, of my youth, excuse me. O Ephraim, are you not my precious child, my own beloved offspring? Even when I reproach you, I think of you with tenderness. My heart yearns for you. I will receive you back in love, says the Lord. Praise be the Lord our God, ruler of the universe, rock of all creation, righteous in all generations, the faithful God, whose word is deed, whose every command is just and true, for the Torah, for the privilege of worship, for the prophets, and for this day of remembrance that you, O Lord our God, have given us for honor and glory. We thank and bless you. May your name be blessed forever by every living being, for your word is true forever. Blessed is the Lord, King of all the earth, for the holiness of the house of Israel, and for the day of remembrance. And let us say, Amen. Amen. We turn to page 138 for the shofar service. And uh, we're going to call upon our Baldakia today, who is, uh, guess who, Canta Mary. So uh, she's uh, doing double duty today, and we certainly appreciate it. We read in the Torah, We pray responsibly, hear now the shofar, acclaim the world's creation. And now we call Isaac's awesome trial. Hear now the shofar, you who stand at Sinai. And, and now, now proclaim, proclaim the rule of Israel's God. God. Hear now the call and turn in true repentance. And now, and now affirm the triumph of good. We are made in the divine image. We are the we house, are house of Israel, of Israel a kingdom, kingdom of priests, holy, a holy people. people. The words of the Rambam, awake you sleepers from your sleep, rouse yourselves you slumberers out of your slumber. Examine your deeds and turn to God in repentance. Remember your creator, you who are caught up in the daily round, losing sight of the eternal truth. You who are wasting your years in vain pursuits that neither profit nor save. Look closely at yourselves, improve your ways and your deeds. Abandon your evil ways, your unworthy schemes, every one of you. We rise for the grand Alenu. 
And as we've mentioned before, two times during the year, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, mm -hmm. we actually prostrate ourselves, if that is our custom, as our ancestors did in days of old in the temple in Jerusalem. Cantor. Aleinu l'shabayach l'hadon hakol l'atet gedul al yotzer bereishit shelo asanu kegoye har hatzot Velo samana gumishbechot ha adama, shelo sam chel kenu kahem, the goat aleno kechol ha monam. Vanafnu korim, umeshtachavim, omojim. Lepnei melech, lepnei melech, malchei hamlachim hakadosh baruch hu. That all who dwell on earth acknowledge that unto you every knee must bend and every tongue swear loyalty. Before you, O Lord our God, let them humble themselves. To your glorious name let them give honor. Let all accept the yoke of your kingdom that you may rule over them soon and forever. For the kingdom is yours. And to all eternity, you will reign in glory. The <laughs> Koamar, Koamar, Koamar Adonai, Melech Yisrael, the Goalo, Adonai, Sivahot, Ani Rishon. Vani Acharon, whom he baladai, hey, Nelohim, who the Torah Hakatuv Lemor Shema. Claims the Lord your God is with you. Shout a claim to the King. The psalmist, the psalmist affirms, lift, lift up your heads, heads, O gates. Lift yourselves up, O ancient, ancient doors. doors. Let the one who reigns in glory enter. Who is it that reigns in glory? The God of all being is the one who reigns in glory. The prophet declares, I am the first and I am the last. I am the only one. As it is written in the Torah, Hear, O Israel, the Eternal is our God. The Eternal God is one. For God and God of our ancestors, may you rule in glory over all the earth and let your grandeur be acclaimed throughout the world. Reveal the splendor of your majesty to all who dwell on earth that all your works may know you as their maker and all the living acknowledge you as their creator. Then all who breathe shall say, the Lord God of Israel is the King whose dominion extends to all creation. Blessed is the Lord, King of all the earth, who hallows the house of Israel and the day of remembrance. Baruch Atah 
Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kitshana B'mitzvotav V'tzivanu L'shmo HaKol Shofar Amen Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechiyana V'kiyamana V'higiyanu L'azman Amen. Tekiyaha Tekiyaha Shivarihim Tekiyaha Tekiyaha Teruaha Tekiyaha You may be seated. Arashat Sifateinu Yerav Lefanecha Yerav Lefanecha Arashat Sifateinu Yerav Lefanecha El Ram Venisa Mevenu Mazin Mahapitu Makshiv Lekol Lekol Teki Utkabel berachmim, berachmim, uveratson, say der, I say der, malchu yoteinu. O God supreme, accept the offering of our lips, the sound of the shofar, and love and favor, hear us as we have acclaimed your sovereignty. Zichronot, Verses of Remembrance, page 144. You remember the work of creation, you are mindful of all that you have made. You unravel every mystery. All secret things are known to you. For there is no forgetfulness in your presence, nothing hidden from your sight. You remember every deed. You know every doer. All things past and present are known to you, eternal God, and every person's acts are remembered and judged. This you made known from the beginning. This you revealed from of old. This is the day of the world's beginning. Now we recall creation's first day. On this day, the fate of nations is in the balance for war or peace, for famine or plenty. So, too, with every single creature, life and death are in the balance. Every mortal's record is set before you. Our acts and our schemes and our thoughts and desires, blessed is the one, one who does who not, not forget, forget you, who looks, looks to you and finds courage. courage. Those, Those who seek you shall not stumble. Those who trust you shall not be ashamed. Be ashamed. The Torah proclaims God heard the enslaved people's groaning and remembered the covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The psalmist affirms, you remembered your covenant with us. In your great love, you comforted us. The prophet declares, I will remember the covenant I made with you in the days of your youth, and I will establish with you an everlasting covenant. As it is written in the Torah, I will remember the covenant with their ancestors, whom I led out of Egypt in the sight of the nations, to be their God, I am the eternal God. Our God and God of all generations, remember us with favor and grant us your compassion and deliverance. Remember your love for us, the covenant you made with Abraham on Mount Moriah. 
Remember his boundless love for you, his willingness to offer you all that was his. Show us your compassion then and in your goodness. Look with favor upon your people and your loved ones. For you, for you are, are the one who remembers all that has been forgotten. There is no forgetfulness in your presence. Blessed is the eternal one who remembers the covenant. The covenant. Yes, the congregation too, please rise. Tekiaha. Shivaram Teruaha. Tekiaha. Tekiaha. Shivare him. Tekiaha. Tekiaha. Teruaha. Tekiaha. You may be seated. Arashet Sifatenu, Yerav Lefanecha, Yerav Lefanecha. Arashet Sifatenu, Yerav Lefanecha, El Ramveni Hisaha. May the no mazin, Mahabitu Makshiv, Lekol, Lekol, Teki. A God supreme, accept the offering of our lips, the sound of the shofar, in love and favor, hear us as we have invoked your remembrance. Shofarot, verses of Revelation. In a cloud of glory, you spoke in holy address to your people. We felt your presence, a luminous mist. Your voice resounded from the very heavens, and all creation trembled. You revealed your Torah to us at Sinai. We, we heard, heard the, the majesty of your voice. voice. Your, your sacred, sacred word came forth amid flashes of fire. Flashes of there was thunder, thunder and, lightning. and lightning. And with, and with the, the sound, sound of the shofar, you were manifest, manifest to, us. to us. The Torah proclaims, as the third day dawned at Sinai, there was thunder and lightning, a dense cloud over the mountain, and a loud blast of the shofar, the people trembled. The psalmist affirms, God stands revealed amid acclamation, the eternal one, amid the sound of the shofar. The prophet declares, all you who dwell on earth, who inhabit the world, when a banner is raised, take note, and when the shofar is sounded, take heed. As it is written, the eternal will appear, God's arrow will flash like lightning, the eternal God will cause the shofar to be sounded and stride forth with the storm winds of the south. Thus, O God, will you shield your people with peace. Our God and God of all generations, sound the great shofar to proclaim our freedom. Raise the banner for the redemption of the oppressed. Signal liberty for all who are in exile. Bring lasting joy to Zion and to Jerusalem, your holy city. We praise, we praise you, you, the merciful, merciful God, God who hearkens to the sound, sound of, the of the shofar. We ask the congregation to please rise. Tekiaha. Shivaram Teruaha. Tekiaha Tekiaha Shivare him
सच किया हा किया हा चेरुआ चेकिया के जोला हा Arashat sifatainu yerav lefanecha yerav lefanecha Arashat sifatainu yerav lefanecha el ram venihi saha Mevinu mazin mahabitu makshiv lekol lekol teki Utkabel berachmim berachmim uveratzon seider ay seider shofroteinu. O God, supreme, accept the offering of our lips, the sound of the shofar, and love and favor hear us as we have called to you with the sound of the shofar. We turn to page 155. We shall close this Torah reading and shofar blowing rubric with. The singing of Eitz Chaim. Let us join in with the cantor. Ki lakach tov, natati lachem, torati al ta'azovu. Eitz Chaim hi, la machazikim ba, vehetomecheha mehushar, terachecha darchei noam, the Hecholnativo Teha Shalom Hashivenu Adonai Elecha Venashuva Chadesh Chadesh Yamenu Chadesh Yameinu Kekedem. You may be seated. Yashikoach. Yashikoach to you. Yashikoach to our Baldekia, to Mary. And I prepared a few words uh, in honor of this occasion. And the name of the speech is, What About Isaac? So uh, today I'm going to begin where most important Rosh Hashanah sermons uh, get their lead from that classic of the silver screen, the 1991 Richard Dreyfuss and Bill Murray movie entitled, What About Bob? I'm sure you all remember it, but in case you don't, I'm going to refresh your memory anyway. The basic gist was this. Before going on a vacation, a semi-famous and very self-involved psychiatrist, Dr. Leo Marvin, played by Dreyfuss, takes on a new patient, Bob Wiley, played by Bill Murray. Wiley is an exemplar of neediness and a compendium of phobias. Bob follows Dr. Marvin and his family to their country house. And Marvin tries everything he knows to get rid of Bob. The trouble is, everyone loves Bob. And every time Marvin tries to exclude Bob from some sort of activity, the doctor's family chimes in, what about Bob? In the process, the patient eventually teaches the doctor a thing or two about life, love, and humility. Today's famous Torah reading, Genesis 22, the Akedah, which is read so beautifully by Cantor Mary. The binding of Isaac begins, After these things, God tested Abraham. He said to him, Abraham, and he said, here I am. God tested Abraham. Who else would God test? After all, Abraham is the first Jew. Abraham is the man of faith. Abraham practices righteousness. Abraham, the iconoclast. Abraham, the monotheist. Abraham, the religious innovator. The rabbis love to talk about Abraham and talk about his 10 trials. What a great guy. 
Many assert the Akedah to constitute the final trial and, of course, interpret this event to be all about who else? Abraham and his spiritual developments. But what about Isaac? In the account of the journey to Mount Moriah, Scripture twice informs Vayelchu Shnehem Yachdav. The two of them went together, one to make the offering, the other to be the offering. However, in connection with the descent from the mountain, the text does not say, so they returned to his young men, but rather, so Abraham returned in the singular to his young men. What about Isaac? Abraham returned to his servants, and the Torah informs Abraham stayed in Beersheba. Where was Isaac? What about Isaac? Did he go somewhere after the Akedah? Is Isaac merely a prop, a forgettable, forgettable foil? in the focus upon his famous father? Does Isaac's life matter? Interestingly, Abraham's servants never ask the obvious question. What about Isaac? Hey, you went up together, uh, you returned alone. No, where's Isaac? But the rabbis of Midrash, Bereshit Rabbah sure did ask, and then searched for answers. Rabbi Yossi ben Chanina opined when Isaac's father perceived that a miracle had occurred, he sent them home that night, lest the evil eye affect him. In rabbinic literature, the evil eye serves as a metaphor for envy. I don't know about you, but I just can't imagine all the other kids in the neighborhood feeling envious because Isaac's father took him up to the mountain to slit his throat and burn his body and upon the altar, and, and their father did not. You know, it's like Disney World again, Dad. You know, what about Mount Moriah to be sacrificed? Uh, just like I can't imagine that happening. You know, Isaac's father took him there. What about you? Right? It's not going to happen. Besides, the next chapter of the Bible, Genesis 23, reports the death of Isaac's mother, Sarah, and Isaac is nowhere to be found. Isaac never shows up for his mother's funeral. So what about Isaac? Rabbi Eliezer ben Padat adds another twist as he asserts, although Isaac did not die, Scripture regards him as though he had died, and his ashes lay piled on the altar. And that is why it is said Abraham alone returned to his young men. Rabbi Bert Vizotsky surmises these such glorifications of martyrdom teach us more about the competition between rabbinic Judaism and early Christianity than they do about history. That is, to properly challenge the theological and historical legacy of Christian martyrdom, ancient rabbis invent Isaac's desire to give his life for the sanctification of God's name. Yet the Torah itself, concerning the mitzvot, commands chai behem, live by them. The purpose of the mitzvot is to live by them, not to die because of them. We best sanctify God's name by creating holiness in our daily lives through acts of kindness and love. Hillel taught, love your neighbor as yourself is the essence of the Torah. We neither glorify nor celebrate death. Jewish tradition embraces life. And so what about Isaac? The medieval Yemenite collection Midrash Hagadol teaches Isaac did not descend Mount Moriah with his father because following the Akedah, the Holy One, lifted Isaac to the Garden of Eden. And Isaac stayed there for three years until it was time for him to marry Rebekah. According to this legend, the trip to heaven was not only a reward for Isaac's courage, but most necessary to heal Isaac as Abraham got a little carried away with the moments of religious ecstasy and actually slit his son's throat. Finally, Rabbi Berechia reported in the, same, in the name of the sages of Babylonia that immediately following the Akedah, Isaac's father sent him off to study with Shem in the famous yeshiva of Shem and Aver. He remained there until his marriage to Rebekah three years later. So what about Isaac? If anyone had a reason to fall off the path, to rebel against the ways of his father and reject the covenants, oh, it was Isaac. I would have expected Isaac to manifest serious resentment or at least go into therapy. Yet, Isaac does not fall off the edge. Isaac does not retreat into a life of victimhood. He does not become a statistic. Rather, Isaac redigs the wells of his father that the Philistines had stopped up. He gives, this, he gives them the same names Abraham had given them. And whenever you read water mentioned in the Bible, read Torah. Therefore, the rabbis teach Isaac preserved Jewish tradition. Isaac ritualized the spiritual gains of his father. 
he carried the torch of the covenants forward into the next generation. So what about Isaac? Where does Isaac find the strength? How does he recover from the binding attack at the hands of his father? How can Isaac invent the afternoon mincha prayer and get married and have children and make peace with the Philistines and reestablish a positive relationship with his brother Yishmael, all after the binding, after the terror of going under the knife at the hand of his father? Well, a few weeks ago, I was speaking with our president, Laura Steinberg, about these upcoming High Holy Days. We compared notes on three issues. First, how much we like figs. She's got a tree. She gave me some figs. They were good. Second, the difficulties of speech writing. And third, the ingredients required to develop and maintain a holy congregation. In the course of our conversation, we acknowledge that all of us go under the knife at one time or another. Hopefully our fathers never took us up to Mount Moriah as a sacrifice, but parents do make mistakes, and some more costly than others. And the truth is, no one has a life without alloy. We all have attended the school of hard knocks, and that's the nature of the world that we live in. And then the president uttered a magic high holy day word in response to all this, when she said, optimism. Optimism. I realized I had checked the box next to apples and honey and matzo ball mix, but up to that point, I had neglected to include optimism on my Rosh Hashanah menu. I perceived how optimism had to have played a major role in moving Isaac ahead in his life, despite all that he had been through. Optimism allowed Isaac to retain wholeness, despite terror, peace, despite disillusionment, and health, despite the physical wounds inflicted upon him. What about Isaac? How did Isaac achieve and maintain wholeness? Where did Isaac find his optimism? Well, We already know the answer in heaven with the Holy Blessed One and in yeshiva studying with Shem and Eber. Isaac's heavenly sojourn implies intimacy with the Holy One. Isaac maintained a strong relationship with the eternal all his life. And this bond grounded Isaac with the faith that things will get better and filled him with the knowledge that he would not have to go it alone. This closeness to the Holy This melding of his soul with the source of all souls continued to heal Isaac physically and emotionally from one year to the next. It suffused his being with, yes, optimism. And when Rebecca first sees Isaac, scripture says he's walking alone, yet conversing in the field at twilight. Our sages teach Isaac invented mincha, the afternoon prayer. Isaac's conversation reached the heavens, and Isaac's relationship with God healed him. If Isaac's time in heaven and with the Holy One healed him, his years at the yeshiva transformed him. Torah study changes us. It helps us grow as human beings and as Jews. The Torah not only deals with the ways of the world such as they are, but scripture presents a a vision of what the world can be. Fair, peaceful, forgiving, moral, and holy. And what is more, the Torah presents the formula to implement its vision. Torah is the vehicle of the world's redemption. Torah shows the way we can redeem our lives. Torah provides insight we need to reach out to others in love. Torah paves the way to forgiveness, and forgiveness is an immensely powerful gift. Isaac gave this gift to his father. Isaac forgave Abraham. Isaac demonstrated the reality of teshuva to his father. Like Dr. Marvin and Bob Wiley in the film, What About Bob? Isaac teaches his self-involved father that religiosity does not equal blind faith. And holiness is associated with humility, the humility of a tender heart. Following their separation and because of their teshuva, prayer, and righteousness, Abraham and Isaac found that they could walk once again together. Our liturgy declares teshuva and prayer and righteousness tempered judgment severe decree. Nothing is preordained. Life is not a Greek tragedy where fate cannot be overcome. We change the initial judgment of Rosh Hashanah through teshuva, prayer, and acts of righteousness. What about Isaac? Isaac stands as our role model. 
for his role in the Akedah and its aftermath, models the possibility of ascending to heaven to communicate with the divine, of maintaining that relationship through the ongoing conversations of prayer, of transforming ourselves through the study of Torah, and reaching out to others in righteous acts of holiness. Despite the terrors that confront us, may we celebrate life by choosing to look deeply and honestly into our souls, to mend our lives, to shuva, by practicing humility before the eternal prayer, and by the generosity of our gifts of forgiveness towards others, righteousness. May our efforts to change our lives, indeed change our lives and the lives of those around us for the better in the coming year, 5781. May this be God's will and ours also, and let us say, Amen. May we all be inscribed and sealed for a good and a sweet year. And again, let us say, Amen. Amen. During these past months, we've been sharing a special prayer. A prayer for these troubled times written by Rabbi Ayelet S. Cohen. And I would like to share it with everybody today in lieu of uh, Alenu, since we already did Alenu. May the one who blessed our ancestors bless all those who put themselves at risk to care for the sick, physicians and nurses and orderlies, technicians and home health aides, those who are our essential workers, who deliver our packages and stock our shelves, EMTs and pharmacists, all those who navigate the unfolding dangers of the world each day to tend to those they have sworn to help. Bless them in their coming home and bless them in their going out. Ease their fear, sustain them, source of all breath, healer of all beings, protect them and restore their hope, strengthen them that they may bring strength, keep them in health that they may bring healing, help them know again a time when they can breathe without fear, bless the sacred work of their hands, may this plague pass from among us speedily in our days and let us say, Amen. Amen. We now turn to page 158. At this point in our service, we remember those who death has taken from us during this last year. We mentioned by name Lorraine Schultz, <coughs> Sonia Leeds, Elaine Sorkin, Mark Somer, Ruth Detweiler, Sally Lind, Daniel Rycheck, Myrtle Hirschbein, Sheila Kay, Howard Barron, Melvin Sid Weiss, Hetty Miller, Millie Hakim, Stephen R. Harris, Stuart Simon, Christopher Lewis Ehring, Laura DeVita Lewis, Leon Deutsch, David Schwerd, Selma Barry, Frida Dietsch, and at this point we always mention Stephen Finkel, as well as those who died at this season in past times and whose names grace the rosters of our congregation. Herbert Mann, David Harris, Cheryl Horowitz, Sarah Zaid, Rita Ragosa, Ruth Sylvia Feldman, Alice Walker, Carrie Fisher. Rose Finkel, Irving Grant, Anna Cohen, Helene Porras, Jack Bodak, Elise Hoffman Stein, Bruce Grant, Yetta Silber, Ruth Ferenbeck, Miriam Feingold, Isidore Lerner, Jean Busnar, Eleanor Mallon, Julia Samatin, Michael Cohen, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and if there's anybody else who is saying Kaddish and wants to share a name with the congregation before Kaddish, you may do so now. Jenny Kusher. We rise as we think of all of them. We pray Zichronam Lebracha. May their memories remain for us as an abiding blessing as we say these words of Kaddish in their memories and in their honor. Yitkadal v'yitkadash merabah. The Alma Divra Hirute, the Amlich Mahute, the Chayechon of Yomechon, the Chayedah of Beit Israel, Bagalab, his man Karibim Ru, Amen, Yahe Shime Rabah, Mivarachli, Alam, Alam, Mail, Maya, Git Barak, the Yishtabach, the It Paar, the It Romam, the It Nase, the It Adar, the It Ale, the It Halal Shme, the Kudisha, Brihu, the Ela mean called Birhata, Shirata. And the source of peace, send peace to all the morning, comfort to all who are bereaved, and together let us say, Amen. Amen. 
Please be seated for just one more moment before we conclude our worship on this second day of Rosh Hashanah with the singing of Ein Kelokenu on page 225. Just uh, a few announcements. I want to indeed thank everybody once again who was making this service possible. Yushikoa to our cantor, Cantor Jack Kusher, and to those who are bringing us uh, this entire broadcast technically, and that is uh, Marilyn Saywitz and Ethan Saywitz, who are here, uh, you know, following uh, every note and making sure that we're aware of everything that's going on out there in, in Zoom land. So uh, we couldn't do without them and certainly appreciate uh, all of their efforts, all of your efforts, because they're right here. <laughs> so you should call us. We appreciate all of our sponsors who have helped bring this services, these services to you. We appreciate Cantor Mary today, who indeed led us in Torah reading and in chauffeur blowing, and uh, all of our aliyot. And uh, even though uh, they're not in the building, we appreciate uh, all of our ushers, uh, including uh, Sam Rabinowitz, our, our head usher, and uh, all the other folks uh, involved there, uh, Larry and Jeff and... Uh, Roy in Florida and uh, Bill, uh, who is uh, who is here with us uh, on this second day of Rosh Hashanah as well. We appreciate everybody who was here yesterday. So we uh, are still mulling over the thoughts that indeed our president uh, Laura Steinberg has presented to us, and um, Garrett Scholar and his wonderful reading of the Haftarah and all of our liot. Uh, much appreciative. We appreciate uh, Laura, uh, rather um, Liz and David Rothman, who came and helped out with our uh, chauffeur blowing drive-by, and Jerry Yokelson, who uh, blew chauffeur yesterday and blew chauffeur at the uh, our drive-by as well, and all those who came out to share uh, some live chauffeur blowing with us. So, you should go again. My God, all add to all of our strengths, so that we may indeed. Two more mitzvot like we have today at one o'clock. We have our children's service at 5.30. We have our virtual lechayim. So tune in and we'll have a chance to uh, wish each other a happy new year. Of course, Shabbat Shuba is coming up next Friday night and next Saturday morning. And uh, it was a tradition in Eastern Europe that the rabbi would only speak twice a year. Once on Shabbat Gadol, the Sabbath before Pesach, because that is our most complex holiday. And once on Shabbat Shuvah, the Sabbath between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, which of course meant that they knew they'd have as many people there as they did on Rosh Hashanah and they would on Yom Kippur. So we're counting on everybody to, to be there then. And then of course for Kol Nidre the 27th, which is Sunday night, and then all day on Monday. Any questions? Good, we can't hear you from, I'm kidding, from where we are. But uh, if there are any questions, please uh, call us up after the service and uh, we'll be able to answer all of them. We wish you all a Chag Sameach, a good Yontif, the Shana Tova, all good things. Let us join the cantor in the concluding song, which is Ein Kelokedu. Ain kela ainu, ain kadon ainu, ain kimalkeinu, ain kamoshi ainu, mi kela ainu, mi kadon ainu, mi kimalkeinu, mi kamoshi ainu, no delelo ainu, no deladon ainu, no delemalkeinu, no delamoshi ainu, bara kela ainu, bara kadon ainu. Baruch Malkeinu, Baruch Moshireinu, Atahu Eloheinu, Atahu Adoneinu, Atahu Malkeinu, Atahu Moshireinu. Page 226 for a special benediction. And now at the beginning of a new year, we pray for blessing the spirit of wisdom and understanding. Amen. Amen. The spirit of insight and knowledge. Amen. Amen. The spirit of knowledge and reverence. Amen. May we overcome trouble, pain, and sorrow. Amen. May our days and years increase. Amen. Amen. Eternal our God and God of our people, renew us for a good year. 
Amen. You may the one who caused his name to dwell in this house, cause to dwell amongst us, love, fraternity, peace, and friendship. And let us all say, Amen. Amen. <laughs> Shana Tova, everybody. Shana Good job. Tova.